Hey guys, welcome back to Book the Nerd. My name is J.O. Young. Today I'm going to show you all the new releases I picked up on March 25th and all the comics I picked up in a mini comic book haul. So let's get started. The first place I stopped at was at my local comic book store at Speeding Bullet and the first thing I pulled my new issues was Star Wars Bounty Hunters issue 2. Really excited to see how the story turns out. And the first issue, they had a uh, first new parents of some new bounty hunters, and which is really exciting to see how these characters uh, develop. And the beginning of the first issue, they talk, they show um, the characters and how they kind of got together on this mission. And then, it kinda, of course, it goes all wrong, and and a certain character does something, and I won't, I won't try to spoil it. But anyway, eventually, it shows them all kind of getting back, getting to starting of the next story on their path of uh, getting vengeance so I'm really curious to see how the how number two carries on with the story and the next one I picked up where it's just filling some holes uh Teen Titans 37 Teen Titans 38 and another new release I picked up was Justice Dark 21 and this cover is just awesome. Um, it also picked up Queen of the Black Coast issue two. This is a Conan story. Um, I'm a big Conan, a barbarian, Red Sonja fan. And so I usually always pick up anything relating to those characters typically. And I was curious to see how this one played out because they were taking the one of the original stories from Robert E. Howard wrote and turned into a comic. So it's been interesting so far. I'm, I'm curious to see how issue two will go. And keeping on with my barbarian theme, um, I picked up the new release, Killing Red Sonia. Real excited about that. Red Sonia is one of my favorite comic book characters. So it was cool to see this new um, series come out. And it's interesting how they're uh, how they're doing it. Um, if you know Red about Red Sonia's origins, you know pretty much her parents were killed um, and that led her to the path of the sword uh, by some mercenaries. Well, what's neat is they're having this boy who's seeking revenge on Red Sonia because she killed his father. So it's kind of marrying, marrying uh, their origins. So it's, it's just, I'm interested to see how they're going to do that. Um, and then I picked up a graphic for young adults called The Scarlet Rose. I'm curious to see what this is about. I like reading uh, graphics for kids and young adults to kind of see what's out there. So if a student is looking for recommendations, it's like I have something to, something that I might recommend. And that's what I picked up at Speeding Bullet. Next, I'll show you all the comments I picked up from my comic book haul. Uh, I went to um, All Star and they were having a 50% off sale on a lot of their back issues. So I picked up, picked up quite a few. Uh, the first one I grabbed was X-Men 112. Just trying to fill in those holes in my X-Men series. I like how uh, Wolverine and Colossus are having some, having some issues there. <laughs> uh, the next thing was kind of neat find. Um, Justice League of America 110. Kind of like a little mini graphic. But what's neat about this it is the second appearance of the Green Lantern John Stewart. And John Stewart is one of my favorite for Green Lanterns. So the next thing I picked up was Amazing Spider-Man 209. I like Craven stories. They're they're always interesting. Then let's move these to the side. I picked up a storyline, Just Leave with America 225, 226, and 226. Seven. These all three are story arc. Um, I've already read the first two, and now I'm reading the third one. It's the we're gonna say Fate Lux. I'm gonna go with that. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but the Fate Lux trilogy. And I will be doing a comic review of these once once I finish reading. Oops, sorry, about my camera. When I finish reading the last one here, let me show you the next set I got. Then I'm kind of continuing with that. I found uh, Just Sleep 228, 229, and 230. I 
like Martian Manhunter. He's pretty, he's a pretty interesting character. Always fun to read more stories about him. And then the next one I picked up was a four part series. Justice League 233, 234, 235, and the last one, 236, or yeah, 236. The Rebirth four part series. Looks pretty interesting. And when I finish reading this, I'll also be posting a review on that soon, so be looking forward to that. Then I picked up. I was in the mood to read some um, Green Lantern stories, so I picked up a Kyle Rayner storyline, and I guess from what I can tell about this is back in the saddle. Um, I'm guessing he's coming back as a Green Lantern. I don't know. I haven't read it yet, but it looks interesting. I like this, this bad guy here looks like a, it's like a fun story to read. And it's Green Lantern 158, 159, 160, and then. 161 and I'll be posting a review on that too when I finish reading that and then I picked up a graphic Wonder Woman Rebirth number one try that out looks like a cheetah might be in there she's a she's a fun villain I like reading about her then I, uh, two things I want to show you that's pretty cool. I was really excited to find was when I went to Half Price Books. Me and my husband were, were went to the graphics section and looking around, and then I saw um, a Soulfire case uh, sticking out, and I pulled it out, and this, this is what I saw, guys. Look at this, just sitting on the sh on the shelf. It's um. Autograph of Michael Turner and Peter Stowall. Michael Turner is my favorite artist. Uh, totally love his work, and I was when I saw it, I was I was in shock. I couldn't speak for 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 a few seconds. I was like, "Am I really, am I really insane? This is this is so cool." And it's a uh, ninety of five hundred, and it's a so far set, and inside of it they have. So far, volume two, which is still in the plastic, hadn't been opened yet, and then so far, volume one, and it's nice as a certificate of authenticity with it. I thought that was pretty cool, and what's even crazier, <laughs> y'all, is uh, the price because it was it was originally marked um, seventy five dollars, and then they had a clearance sticker on it, and I had a coupon, <laughs> so. I didn't pay very much for this at all, which is which is pretty crazy, pretty exciting. Not something I would I expect to just pull off a shelf and find find an autograph. That was that was insane. The last thing I want to show you is kind of a a grail for me that I've been wanting for a very long time, and I've almost bought it like a, a few years ago. I almost bought it CCC, and I and I I didn't, and I wish I did because then Marvel. Marvel got the character back and then the prices just skyrocketed and I really really couldn't really get it and but when I was at All-Star they had Conan there it was my grail Conan number one the barbarian in their showcase oh guys so excited I saw that there and I just had to get it oh and because what I what I'm doing is I'm, I'm a barbarian fan obviously you guys can't tell <laughs> I have the first appearance of Red Sonia and her first cameo appearance and I'm gonna make an uh hang them on this wall as a display and I really want to come the barbarian too to tie in with that and so now now I have it now I now I can make my display and I'm, I'm just so excited and this comic is just it's just so pretty look all the colors are popping out and such a classic cover oh I'm so excited so ex so excited um, so that's all I picked up, um, on my comic haul, my new releases, and I want, if you guys can, I know especially during this time, it's kind of a crazy time, support your local comic shops, uh, get with them, see what they're doing on their Facebook pages, or call up there, some are doing, 
I know some trying to do mystery boxes, buying gift cards, uh, their shipping or doing curbside delivery, just see what you can do to help them out and through this tough time. And so they'll, so they'll still be there when, when this craziness is over. Um, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.